Uh oh. Alarm urgent service. Oh no, come on. This has never happened to me on a motorcycle, not even a Chinese scooter, man. Oh, come on. As a lot of you know who follow my channel, you know, I've owned a couple of Italian motorcycles. I, I thought I'd give them a try because everybody said the Italian motorcycles are so amazing. They have more character than the Japanese bikes. So I said, you know what? I'm going to try a Ducati and an Aprilia. So, uh, as a lot of you know, I owned a 2016 Ducati XD Avell S, which was an absolutely amazing bike. And I'm actually thinking about getting another one, man, because it was so amazing. Uh, and also, I just recently sold a 2016. 17 Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 factory both Italian bikes which that bike was an awesome bike as well uh, but you know overkill for the streets my opinion the XD Avail S was better for the streets because it had a ton of bottom end power comfortable and just amazing bike the V the the, the Tuano is for the track and a little of the street but mainly for the track that's only that's where you're gonna have proper fun on that bike but you know what guys I'm going to tell you five reasons why you should avoid Italian motorcycles. Let's go for a ride. I keep preaching over and over how I believe this is the most awesome bike that I've had thus far. Out of all the different bikes I've had over like the last eight years or so, this is the most fun. This 2019 Yamaha YZ450 FX that I converted to a street legal supermoto. I did a build series on that, by the way. I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video. Yeah, awesome bike, man. But I tell you guys, I'll take this bike over any of the Italian motorcycles. All right, let me get out. I had to be careful right now because there's a lot of cops out here, man. Ah, oh, I love this bike. <laughs> Torque Monster. For those of you guys who want to get my gear like these amazing gauntlet gloves, this airbag vest has helped keeping me safe out there on the streets. This ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, amazing. All my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. Number five. I will tell you guys that Italian motorcycles are too sexy. <laughs> I know some of you guys are thinking Cycle Cruiser, man, that's a pro. That ain't no con, brother. It could be a con. It's a con for me, man. I'll tell you that because every time I pull in a gas station with either that Tuono or especially Ducati XD Avail, man, that thing oh my gosh there was always nearly every time somebody came up to me and asked me what bike that was uh and sat there and wanted to have conversations i'm like D it was cool at first i loved it don't get me wrong i like the respect uh, and admiration for the bike but after a while i was getting sick of it man i was like dude i just want to go ride leave me alone <laughs> i don't want to sit here for a 15 20 minute conversation about my bike man it, just, it gets redundant and it was oh don't get me now a lot of you guys will love that a lot of you guys love that man is that a cop that's a cop oh that's a police station <laughs> duh <laughs> rolling right into the police station man i'm about to bust the wheelie up in here <laughs> oh man that would have been dumb <laughs> But yeah, the, the Italian bikes are just too dang sexy. All of them, man. All of them are amazing bikes. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on Italian bikes or the companies or anything. You know, I am kind of low-key hating on the Pri. I'll get to them in a minute, man. But uh, I tell you that uh, they all, nearly all of the Italian bikes, they know how to make good-looking bikes, and they make them fast and with character. I'll give them that, man. Um, but anyways, number four... Now we can rip. Ah. <laughs> I love this bike, man. The torque just, it just, it just grabs your soul. <laughs> Makes me all kinds of happy up in here. <laughs> Woo! But anyways, yeah, number four is the lack of dealers. 
you know, one thing I hated about it, you know, I, my Aprilia, there's only one dealer around here, which I, I have to appreciate that because a lot of you guys don't have any dealers. I think in the state of Ohio, I think there's only like two dealers. And uh, the guy that bought my bike, uh, he, he said the closest dealer to him is like four hours away, <laughs> Texas. And uh, so that's the drawback. And Ducati, I actually, I, I thought about buying another Ducati XD Bell because I love it so and get one in white. But we don't even have a, deal, a Ducati dealer in Ohio anymore, Northeast Ohio. That Northeast uh, uh, Ducati, it closed down, man. And uh, they haven't replaced it. And the closest one is out in Columbus. And I just don't feel like rolling about two and a half, three hours out to Columbus, man. Uh, especially every time I have to take the bike in to get, you know, get fixed or service or whatever, or recall work. So, uh, that's a huge drawback, man. I tell you, it really, that's what's really awesome about the Japanese dealerships is they are everywhere, man. Everywhere. I love that. And, uh, and Japanese, the, the bikes, you don't, you don't have to worry about the reliability. You ain't gonna have no problems. <laughs> you know, and that brings me to number three. Uh, you know, reason why you should avoid Italian motorcycles is sketchy reliability. You know, that's why I got the Yamaha because I tell you, these Yamahas and, and the Japanese bikes, you can count on the reliability. Like I said, with the Italian motorcycles, sketchy reliability, even though, my, from my experience, I had no, the only problem I had uh, with the Aprilia Tuono, as a lot of you know, that I've chronicled in my videos. Uh, for that bike is that when I first got it the very first ride Was it went into lint mode and it stuttered and shook and then it cut off and it kept doing that God This is bull man. I was so pissed off because I thought I got a lemon man That's the only bike that ever did that to me and I took it to the dealership and, and they uh, uploaded put updated the software put uh, tighten the cables and it was good. That was I have a problem since. But the Ducati XD Bell, the rear brake went out. But they did take care of that, no charge. But I tell you, I've seen a lot of videos out there where people complain about reliability. And if you go look at Consumer Reports Least Reliable Motorcycles, their their list that they did, they did a survey for all of the uh, different you know own, uh, motorcycle owners out there of the different brands. And they determined that Ducati's at the bottom of the list. <laughs> Actually worse than Harley Davidson, man. And Aprilia's not even on the list. Or Moto, Moto Guzzi wasn't even on the list. Or any other, uh, you know, Italian motorcycle. At the top of the list, all Japanese. And then the rest. If you get crazy and beat on the Italian bikes, the Italian companies don't want to pay. <laughs> they don't want to pay for warranty work, man. They'll try anything to get out of paying for warranty work and that go I had experience with that with that uh, that Aprilia Tuano that I had 2017 I just got rid of as I told you I took it to the dealer because it had it went into lint mode um, all that required was one hour of labor and no parts guys and you know what it took Aprilia almost a week to get back to them on whether they would approve of the work for the bike and you know what they didn't approve of it and the dealership just gave it to me. Can you believe that? You know, the, I did, the bike was all stock and, and, uh, and if that was a defect, whatever happened, man, that was nothing that I did. That should have been covered under the warranty. And, and also, you know, the shipper that took my bike to take it to the, the new buyer out in Texas, uh, that shipper, he told me that he, sh he uh, picked up a, all, a bunch of Aprilia bikes from a dealership and the dealership guy said, the owner said he wanted to get rid of, he got rid of all the Aprilia bikes and he cut his ties with Aprilia because he said he had nothing but problems with trying to get them to approve for, you know, approve of warranty work. And I've heard that from so many people and as far as Ducati, they're not that much better to be honest with you. I took my XC Alba in because I got some damage on the belt and that belt was supposed to be, you know, damn near bulletproof. And uh, and the uh, the belt guard, they had actually encouraged rocks to hit up underneath it. And I had a little damage and they refused to fix, they refused to replace the belt, man. They said if I wanted to replace it, $700. <laughs> I was like, no thank you, man. I'll just ride with it. And then I ended up selling the bike. 
Oh, it's like that flip, flip. Woo! See that flip? <laughs> Tell you, this thing's got some power. So if you get an Italian motorcycle, I highly recommend that you be very careful with the bike. <laughs> Don't get too crazy and beat on it, man. But that brings me to number one is the per prices like i said 700 dollars for that belt guys for that xd belt that's crazy you know a tank a fuel tank on that xd album is like uh, excuse me xd bell like three thousand over three thousand dollars for a price for that tank man part prices and availability is bad for the italian bikes guys you're going to pay through the nose and i think you guys already know that and expect that that you're going to be paying a lot for maintenance and parts and the parts are not going to be so easy to come by like the japanese parts and that's a big uh, i mean that's a big con especially for cheap people like me now if you're rich it doesn't matter but even if you're rich nobody wants to wait around for over a month for the dealership to fix your bike because they're waiting on parts and waiting for uh the company to approve of warranty work so you have to take take these things into consideration, man. But I know there's a lot of people, a lot of you guys out there that don't do a lot of miles on these these fancy bikes, and you pretty much have them as show pieces in your garage, <laughs> or to ride around the neighborhood and look cool on your Italian motorcycle. And uh, so it doesn't matter to you, and you probably won't have any problems if, if you do it, if you ride your bike like that. So, but anyways, guys, you know these things on this list shouldn't deter you from getting that sexy Italian motorcycle with all that power and character. Uh, you, I, be, I think everybody should experience the Italian motorcycles. Um, they make amazing bikes. So I'm not totally hating. I'm just giving the cons. That's all. But hey guys, leave a comment below and share your experience with the Italian motorcycles. So let's talk about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my All The World Motorcycle channel. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.